I'm Laurie Laybourne Langton and I'm an Associate Fellow at the Institute for Public Policy Research, a think tank in London. The younger generations are bringing much needed urgency to climate debates around the world as we saw with the recent school strikes. Um, as, old, as younger generations get older they will be faced with an acute leadership challenge in helping support their societies through the enormous changes that are needed to stop climate change as well as making sure societies are prepared for increasing shocks coming from a changing climate. A younger generation has to do that with older generations, within themselves, within countries, but also across the world. And I'm particularly excited about how younger generations in Britain can do that with those across Africa. For what Britain can bring, with its institutions, its understanding of what's happening to the climate system, but in particular what countries across Africa can bring to that. The enormous energy across this continent, the fact that it has a particular history and unique threats that it's, it's faced with from climate change mean that this has got to be the place where younger generations lead a global conversation about what has to happen next and what leadership looks like for a world that's radically changing. Um, uh, the UN summit should focus on resilience for two reasons. One is that increasingly the world has to pivot towards ensuring communities are resilient to the impacts of climate change as they grow into the future. They should also focus on resilience because it can also be a key part of mitigation strategies as well. Communities that are more resilient can also be more sustainable. And a second element is that resilience is something that impacts on a younger generation in particular. The modelling that we're seeing, what the scientific community is telling us, points towards a radically different future for younger generations. Being resilient to environmental shocks, while also being able to support communities through the radical, but also positive changes that they will have to go through, is going to be a key task that sits on the shoulders of younger generations. So by focusing on resilience, the UN Summit can ensure that it's putting young people, the leaders of the future, at the very top of their considerations.